Hey, what's happening, folks? Welcome into Sports and More. I'm KL. Um, today, want to talk sports. Want to talk boxing in particular. Um, <clears throat> my guy Devin Alexander. I love him. He's a uh, he's a friend of mine on Facebook, and I've I've chatted with him personally a couple of. Uh, a couple of times and you know he uh he got knocked out um this past weekend and it's a hard thing you know um i've never i've never been in the ring so i can't tell him how to how to feel or anything like that. All I can tell him is, you know, I still support you. Still got love for you, brother. And um, there's no shame in uh, losing or getting knocked out. Um, and, you know, the thing I seen from your fight, because um, I, I did watch the replay, was because you're a counter puncher, most you know, mainly, you were on you know under Kevin, and with Roy, um, you were a lot more aggressive, but it seemed like wild aggression, not um, not a controlled aggression. Um, I don't know. You may you may think I'm completely off base and. Um, let me know if that's that's how you feel. Um, you know, it's just a fan uh, voicing what he thinks. Um, but yeah, man, I feel for you because you're a great dude, and uh, I want to see great people um, succeed. And you've been successful in boxing, and. Um, and I don't know if you um, are going to continue or if you're going to look to uh, the next chapter of your life. I'm not, you know, I don't know. Whatever you do, though, um, I'll, be, I'll be behind you 100%. And, um, you know, I'm just glad that physically you're okay and... Um, you know, you're either going to win or you're going to lose, and unfortunately, uh, that night just wasn't your night, and you lost, so, um, but I'd like to hear from you, brother, uh, in the comments, and, and let me know, am I wrong? We're... Were you wildly aggressive instead of, uh, you know, controlled aggression? Um, are you go are you going to continue boxing, um, or don't you know? Um, those are some of the questions I have for you. So, drop uh, drop your answers in the comments below on the YouTube and. Um, Next, we're going to switch to the Anthony Joshua, Andy Ruiz fight that took place at Madison Square Garden over the weekend. And look, no one was giving Andy Ruiz any shot. So, hey, listen, um, anyone who bet money in Vegas or wherever gambling's legal, I think New Jersey now, um, Anyone who bet on Ruiz to win, uh, and if you bet by by knockout or you know whatever um, in that round, my goodness, uh, congratulations to you folks because you are probably sitting on a pretty penny. And my message for Andy Ruiz is. Congratulations, champ. First Mexican 
American heavyweight champion ever. Um, I don't really like putting, you know, uh, race in front of American, whatever. But um, it's a big thing, you know. I know, I know it is to the Mexican American community, and um, it is to me because um, it's history, and it would have been history uh, had had he been any color, but um, what you did and the heart that you showed from getting up off the floor, off the canvas, you showed fight, you showed determination, you showed grit, and you showed that you're not, you're not backing down. And if you're gonna go out, you're gonna have to be put out. And instead, you turned around and you put out Anthony Joshua. And Anthony Joshua, look, there's no, uh, there's no ill will toward you. I don't think that you're the fighter that many thought you were. I never have. And, um, to be honest with you, I don't, I love Deontay Wilder. He's my countryman. He's... He's a great, great dude, but I don't think he's as great as, you know, people have hyped him, hyped him up to be either. I think both of you have been uh, in this hype machine, and you both have uh, major flaws, but you're both exciting to watch, usually. Um, and... I think uh, I'll give you, you know, your congratulations for coming to America to fight because that takes some balls right there. And um, it's my one knock on Andre Ward. You know, he went through the whole Super 6. And Andre Ward, you're a great fighter. I love you. But you went through that whole Super 6. And I thought you should have had to uh, fight Carl Frotch in, uh, in England, but somehow you escaped that. You fought every fight in America. Now, that's the way the cookie crumbled, but I don't know if it would have been the same because you <clears throat> have never fought outside of America, sir. But, uh, your greatness is not diminished. It's just, I think that your greatness would have been greater had he fought Frotch in his uh, hometown, outside of the United States. But back to Ruiz and Joshua, um, look, Andy, you, you made the man quit. I don't care what he says. And look, he is very, very, uh, very good sport. Anthony Joshua, you're a very good sport in, in all the post-fight stuff. And um, there's no shame in, be in losing. Uh, there's no shame in getting knocked out. Um, it happens, you know. The greatest fighters are the fighters that have had losses on their records, in my opinion. That's why Floyd Mayweather, to me, personally, is not one of the greatest fighters. Not because he hasn't lost, but because he's never been freaking challenged. He's never took on a real challenge in his life. And the one, the one fight that he, that I believe he lost, um, you know, it was controversial and all that, but I don't know. Anyways, I don't want to 
get off on Floyd and all that crap. But Andy Ruiz and uh, Anthony Joshua, thank you for a great fight. And um, I imagine you two are going to do it again. And probably this time in the UK, where uh, where you're more comfortable, Joshua. But I think I think Ruiz, um, I think Andy, your uh, your boxing travels. So I wouldn't be one bit surprised if you go over to London to that O2 arena or to Wembley or wherever the hell they want to have it and do the same thing again I won't I would not be surprised um, I just seen some news today that uh, Tony Harrison has had to pull out of his fight against Charlo because he has to get uh, surgery on his ankle which sucks because that was going to be a great rematch. Um, hopefully, Tony can get that uh, get that surgery and recover fully and quickly, so we can uh, get that rematch before the end of the year. Um, hopefully, it's not that big a deal. I don't know. I don't know what the hell happened, but uh, you know sports and people do get injured so uh, it's kind of a bummer but um you know overall this weekend was was a good weekend for boxing and a good weekend for a uh, great weekend for Andy Ruiz Jr. and a good weekend for uh, Anthony Joshua Look, hey man, as I said before, no real champions finish their career undefeated, except Rocky Marciano, who, uh, I don't know if he retired, but I know he died, so um, he probably would have came back out of retirement had he not passed, but um, anyway, I just wanted to say uh, thank you for a great week in a boxing and uh, I look forward to some of the other fights but most of all I want the great fights I want Wilder and I want Fury I want Wilder and I want Joshua I want Lomachenko and I want Mikey Garcia I want Spence and I want Crawford and I want them now I don't want them five years down the road when they all got losses and they're all older and all this bullshit. I'm sick of the damn politics and boxing. I'm headed up to here. And you want us to pay 90 bucks for a pay-per-view uh, for Thurman and uh, Pacquiao? I'm not doing it. And you boxing fans should not do it either because it's a disgrace complete disgrace they're just using you for your money because of a storyline the young guy versus the old guy oh let's see how it plays out screw that give us Spence give us Crawford or give us nothing anyways have a great uh, great week folks much love, peace.